Well, it's me one more time. I uh, decided, uh, well, back in the motel, we had supper. I had a comment about pens in use, and somebody mentioned the pens in my pocket. I hate to admit it, but uh, I brought a couple of felt tips and ballpoints because I wanted uh, something to hand to kids if they didn't have a writing utensil. We took a walk around the NDSU campus, and I had them mark uh, the buildings they were in because, of course, they don't know the NDSU campus at all. Uh, I know it marginally better. I never attended classes there, but I've worked there probably about six weeks in total, so I've somewhat found my way around the place. And uh, anyway, so what did I bring? Well, you know, back two weeks ago when Fargo had its blizzard, of which there is almost no trace left, we saw a little bit of snow around a couple of the lakes by, by Jamestown, but uh, other than that, there's no trace of the blizzard left. However, uh, I had three pens inked up at the time. Two of them have since run empty, the uh, Caveco Lilliput and the Caveco Sport. So uh, I just brought one fountain pen, this uh, nice little Moon Man Mini One Kai filled with uh, Noodler's Heart of Darkness. And I uh, haven't written a thing with it all day, but uh, I'm setting, settling down now in the motel and I will be doing some writing, so I suppose it's just as well. Uh, somebody mentioned, just setting my stuff down here, uh, somebody mentioned my minimalist packing. You know, it's one night. Yes, it did all fit in a backpack uh, with lots of room to spare. And I liked about the backpack is now backpacks are made so they hold a laptop, which it does. Um, cool thing with the bus, which I hadn't really thought about till now, but uh, it has uh, USB ports in it and even outlets at each seat. One outlet at each seat. So I guess... I could be using my computer, you know, not online or anything because it doesn't do that, but I, I could be using my computer for computing type stuff. Uh, I have been using it for, uh, I, I did briefly on the trip use this phone as a, what, is, what was it called, a hotspot, and uh, used it to sync some stuff on Evernote because I, I cleaned up some of my formatting because I'll just tell you, um, this upcoming organizational thing that I want to do this summer uh, as series. One of the tools I use a lot is Evernote and in years past I always carried everything in a binder which made my luggage bigger but this year it's all on this phone that I'm recording this on and uh, Evernote was pretty awesome because uh, I've got rosters for every planned stop and we only got about five minutes behind. Um, but every planned stop, I have a roster so I can check off the kids because one of my nightmares is that we forget a kid. Although, as the bus driver pointed out, nowadays they could they they all have phones and could call. But, you know, when I started teaching, that was not the case. You forget a kid and, you know, get 20 miles down the road and you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> so, uh, probably stronger words than that. So, uh, not that I want to forget a kid anyway, but it, it's not the disaster it would have been back then. But... Anyway, so I have that. I've got their room assignments here in the motel. I've got uh, all, you know, maps. Uh, I, I made a simplified schedule because NDSU makes a very nightmarish schedule that takes a lot of time to decipher. Uh, so I made a simplified one, put that on one side, and I put the map of the campus on the other. And, uh, yeah, so uh, that was mainly my other luggage. So... <laughs> Anyway, I promise if I stayed in Fargo for a week, I would probably have more luggage than just one backpack. Um, I actually have a second smaller backpack inside the big backpack because uh, tomorrow, wandering around campus, I'll just have a small backpack just with a, well, not leaving my laptop on the bus, so the laptop will be in there, but, you know, the laptop, my notebook, the, yeah, I have to have a notebook with me. Um, I have a book that I'm reading. In fact, on the on the trip... Uh, out here, I finished, well, I started and finished, I can't believe I read it, but it, you know, it was interesting, so I read it, Dan Locke's F.U. Money, which, uh, I've been watching a couple of his videos, you know, I'm no entrepreneur, but, uh, there's a lot of thought process you can learn from things, that even if it's not necessarily your type of thing, and right now I'm sitting here listening to traffic and thinking, oh my God, now I know why I like living in a residential area of a small town. Uh, 
I, I know the rest of Fargo wouldn't be this loud. We're actually on a major highway, which is why the motel was so cheap. But uh, it's a nice motel, though. But anyway, uh, I lost my train of thought there. See, noise does that. Uh, oh, yeah, I was reading Dan Locke's FU Money, which, uh, yes, FU stands for what you think it does. And if you've ever watched him talk or read any of his writing, yeah, he peppers it with those words. So, you know, don't read him if you're offended by language. Um, and now I'm reading Cal Newport's, shoot, something about high school students. I got to get it out here because I forgot the title. Yeah, this isn't like when I'm doing the videos at home. There we go. How to be a high school superstar because I teach high school students. And one of the things I like is that whole idea of specializing, and not overloading yourself with AP courses and all these activities just to pad your college resume. You know, relax, specialize in some fun things. You know, get in a couple things with your friends because you're a high school kid and you got to have fun with your friends. But uh, leave plenty of time for yourself. There was a nice little section on, in here about studying for high school. And uh, oddly enough, a lot of the things I tell kids and all of us high school teachers tell kids was in there. And weirdly enough, only a few of them actually do it, which may be why, hey, that's why you're not successful. Um, but, I, you know, I know kids, even in my small town, they're, you know, we don't have the plethora of AP courses. We have dual credit courses. I may be teaching an AP course next year. I'm not a huge fan of AP, but I may be doing an AP-type computer science class. Um, but anyway, so we've got those kids who would take all those extra classes, but uh, you know, it's, it's hard to really overload yourself at our school with uh, AP-type classes. You can take a lot of the advanced classes, of course. Um, but you know, he was suggesting cut back to what you're really interested in. Um, follow those passions. Leave time for yourself to develop as yourself. And that's one of the problems I have with uh, a lot of things is they just uh, don't leave themselves time to be themselves. And when they do have the time to be themselves, they're on a device like this one I'm holding in my hand, playing games or texting or getting that social media stuff and not developing an interest or a passion and you know, I think that's sad when a kid, and I know way too many of them that really have no passions or interests, and it's just all social media, and uh, it's kind of by design, the social media stuff is designed to suck in your attention, it's, it's just kind of, I will possess your soul, type of thing, because uh, you know, it becomes very real, and then Sometimes that stuff that's happening on the social media carries over into school and you're just like, whoa, where'd that come from? Oh, it's because of some stupid thing on Facebook or Snapchat or whatever it is the kids are using now. Um, <laughs> I'm so out of touch. I, I actually just sent my very first text in my life tonight to my principal because uh, a possible candidate for our science position, which... Yeah, we're looking. <laughs> if you're interested, we're a lot of fun. A uh, little off the beaten path, but we're, we're you know, it's a good town. But uh, anyway, I guess I'm running dry. Somebody saw the pens. Oh, I already said that. Yeah, I guess I'm running dry on topics. So uh, I'm looking forward to doing some reading. And, you know, that's the nice thing about bus riding. I, uh, six hours sitting is not my thing because I am a walker. I... I have a job where I'm on my feet most of the time, and uh, I just, I was walking like an old man. I was so stiff, but, uh, so we got a good tour of the campus. The, the weather was nice today. It's supposed to be not nearly as nice tomorrow. Um, you know, Fargo and other spots will be along the coat, the edges of the blizzard, and if the blizzard decides to move north, we'll be in trouble. Maybe staying an extra night here, I'll be wishing I'd packed some extra clothes instead of being so minimalist, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, that's tomorrow. So I, what I'll do tomorrow is kind of the same thing. I'll just do uh, a couple of random uploads during the day from around campus. I wish I could show you flying events. I have some neat footage of that, so maybe I'll put together some of my footage from previous years and make a video out of it at some point. Um, where I showed the flying events, but they're not doing the flying events this year because the facility where they always do that is, I don't know, down for repairs or something. Anyway, very sad about that. 
And uh, this postponement thing means a lot of the facilities we usually expect are not available. So, yeah, I'm the me and the coaches I've talked to are all walking into this tomorrow blind, which is, uh, if you know me, that's not how I go. I, I, I like to plan things. You know, not that I'm not a spontaneous person, but I'm able to be spontaneous and comfortable being spontaneous because I have everything planned out, uh, and that leaves me that wiggle room when I'm ready to be spontaneous, if that makes any sense. Um, I, I, I just can't go in, oh, whatever happens, happens. I'm, uh, yeah. So anyway, I uh, want to thank you for watching. And if, if you've been mystified by this today, if you're a new visitor, I'm sorry. This isn't normally what I do, but I just thought I'd do something different this week. Normally I do fountain pens, and uh, I am working on branding the channel a little bit, you know, uh, I'm thinking the whole pens, I'll, I'll do more on this later, but uh, this whole pens in use series that I've been doing, which has been my most successful show on this channel, uh, I'm thinking that's a good theme for the whole channel. You know, then I can review pens, I can review paper, I can talk about writing type topics, I can talk about research type topics, and it all kind of falls under that pens in use umbrella. So still working through that on... Uh, well, not on my Baron Fig desk pad, because that didn't come with me, but, uh, you know, there, there's some scratch paper here in the motel room that I might use up, so we'll see. But anyway, I want to thank you for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.